everyone and welcome to today's video in which we're going to be talking about this. It's the Oceanic VO4 dive computer. Now don't be mistaken, this might be an entry level dive computer, but it's packed with a whole ton of features, far more than it should have for its £250 price point. So let's take a look and find out why. This console style dive computer feels very ergonomic to hold in the hand and the screen is easy to see and uncluttered with these big numbers. The unit has an extra long strap to case of a dry suits, a user changeable battery feature and it also comes in either this fetching yellow or with a black fascia. The Oceanic VO4 will go into sleep mode if left for more than two hours, so great for long periods of storage. And when woken the screen will count down while rebooting. The whole menu interface is operated with these two face mounted buttons. The left button to advance through the menus and the right button to select. The menu configuration is the same as the Oceanic Geo 4.0 that we recently reviewed and it's also very intuitive. It has the last dive feature to make filling out logs really easy and it's easy to plan a dive. Incredibly, this £250 entry level dive computer allows you to dive either the DSAT or the Z plus algorithms, depending if you need to dive a no deco or a deco dive. It also allows you to set three gas mixes ranging from air at 21% O2 all the way to 100% O2, making the Oceanic VO4 perfect for all levels of diver as a primary dive computer or absolutely ideal if you are looking for a low cost alternative to add to your setup as a secondary backup device. But what really adds to the surprising armory of the Oceanic VO4 is that this will connect to the Divalog Plus app with ease, therefore allowing you to view and change your dive computer settings through the app on your phone. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. So the dive computer is showing the Bluetooth symbol on the face. You can just see it, it's just next to the um, time there. We're gonna open up the app on the phone and we're going to click on add device. We're going to click on start and we're scanning for devices and there we go there is the Oceanic VO 4.0 so I'm just going to click on that on the phone it's connecting to the device it's asking me to pair it. it's going to click on pair and then I get a four digit code on the dive computer uh, 0602 so I'm going to add that into the phone click OK and there we go, device added successfully. So there we can see everything that we've got added in my devices. And I'm gonna click on the VO 4.0 and there we go, we are now in the app. So there we go, we've now synced the dive computer to the app. We're gonna click on the VO 4.0. Got some information there. So we've got the serial number, got the firmware version, we've got the date it was last synced uh, and there's some history around its, uh, how many dives it's done, its maximum depth and the minimum, t uh, yeah, the minimum temperature. Uh, we're gonna click on settings. So if we click on uh, time, you can obviously set a 12 or a 24 hour clock format and you can decide what date format, whether you want day, month, month, date. And you can also change the date and time in the app. If we come back out of that and go into gas, so here is where you can set the gases for the uh, dive computer if you don't want to go into the menu on the dive computer. So for the first gas, I don't know, but let's leave the first gas as 21% and we'll change the PPO to, you know, we'll leave it as 1.4 here. It's giving us a maximum operating depth of 57 meters. So if we go into the second gas, we'll make that 32% and we'll set the PPO to, we'll leave it at 1.5, there we go, gives us a maximum operating depth of 36.9 meters. And then for the third gas, we'll set that to, let's say 50%. Um, so we we'll click on set, and we will leave the PPO at 1.4, giving us a maximum operating depth of 18 meters. Uh, and if you click on sync, it's connecting um, to the dive computer, on the dive computer it says it's pairing and it's written the dive computer settings successfully onto the dive computer. We just click on uh, OK, just go back into the dive computer, go back into gas and you can see that we've now set those gases. Um, if you come back out of that and go into alarm, you can obviously set uh, some different alarms there so you can have a, a maximum operating depth uh, alarm on or off. Um, you can set some um, free dive, 
uh, maximum depth alarms. So we had some set, we've just taken some off, but you can easily go on and uh, amend any of those. Uh, if you go into utilities, you've got the wet, a wet activation turned on, we've got a u units of measurement set up as metric, we've got the conservative factor turned on there, we'll turn the deep stop on. Uh, here you can change the um, algorithm, so it's running DSAT at the minute, and you can decide whether you want to run DSAT or Z+, whether you want a deco or a no deco dive profile, so we'll leave it on DSAT for now. Uh, we've got the safety stop turned on. Uh, you can set the safety stop, time in, safety stop time in minutes, whether it's three or five minutes. We'll leave it as three minutes. And then you can decide at what depth your safety stop uh, engages on the dive computer, whether it's three meters, four meters, five meters, or six meters. So we'll push that up to six meters. So when we get to a depth of six meters, the safety stop will start to count down on the dive computer. And you can obviously set the, uh, the dive sample rate and you can also change the duration of the backlight. You can either have it off, uh, set to five seconds, or set to 10 seconds. So we'll set that to 10 seconds. So we're now going to sync all of those changes that we've made in um, uh, all of those different uh, areas. And it's pairing on the dive computer. And there we go, it's right in dive computer settings and it's uh, done that successfully. So we go back into the app as before. You can see all the things that we've changed and now uh, as we set them, if we come back out of that and go into, so if we come back out of that and go into uh, firmware, it's telling us that our firmware is up to date. That's fantastic. And then if we click on uh, references, uh, you've got the owner's manual, which is the full PDF version uh, of the instruction manual for the dive computer. And if you click on the quick reference guide, I think this is a really nice feature. You've got the two little quick reference cards that basically tell you what the two buttons to uh, uh, the two buttons do. Uh, and in what order you need to push them to get to where you want to go in the menus. Menu's really easy, it's really not complicated at all. So there you go, that is the Oceanic VO4 connected to the Diver Log Plus app. Now, I don't know what you guys think, but for £250, this is an absolute bargain. I can't believe the features that this packs. The dual algorithms, the DSAT, the Z+, the three gas mixes ranging from 21% up to 100%, and it will connect to the app on your phone. Do you know what? If you're a new diver and you're looking for your first dive computer, don't be bothered looking at the top end of the market. Spend £250 on this and spend the rest of the money that you were going to spend on a dive computer on actually going diving and enjoying the experience. If you're an experienced diver and you've already got a great primary and you're looking for a backup or a secondary dive computer, you know what, you're not going to go wrong with one of these. 250 quid, dual algorithms, three mixed gases, seriously, it speaks for itself. If anyone out there has got one of these, uh, or if you head out to the shops to buy one of these off the back of this video, this Oceanic VO4, please comment down below. I'd love to hear what you think about this unit in particular. Uh, with all that said and done, I think I'm gonna sign off. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, if you have uh, any comments, add them down below. And if you think anyone for, would benefit from seeing this video, please feel free to share it. And as always, click on that subscribe button, click that little bell icon to be notified when any future video lands. But for now, thank you very much, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Cheers.